Taurus, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Just a couple of things. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. All right, sweet. Let's just get into it. How does Taurus view their current romantic situation with this top energy? Oh, by the way, top energy is like your divine person, your, your twin flame, or those of you guys that are currently in a relationship with somebody. The bottom energy is usually those people that are dating or freshly single or looking. Okay, so that's kind of like the newer energy coming in. All right. How does Taurus view their current romantic situation with this top energy? Okay, we have the tower here, the eight of wands, seven of wands, and the world. Hold on. I feel like if you want me to be honest, it's a lot of Mars, like the majority of it is Mars energy. And I feel like right now you may be feeling like you're emotionally not receiving what you need for some reason. And I also feel like there's something that has kind of shocked you, that there was some type of communication that came in possibly where you felt the need to question somebody and demand answers. Because I feel like there's some type of challenge here. Either it's a challenge with communication, it's a challenge with somebody being completely honest, it's a challenge with completing a cycle, or something like this. What created this tower moment for, for Taurus? Ooh. Okay, makes sense. The twin flame. Why? Strength in the seven of swords. I think you or your person, obviously, somebody is watching somebody very, very closely. Somebody, somebody has a level of uh, focus here on, it, it, it's almost like Taurus, you know that this person is lying, right? Seven of swords, double life. Um, it's almost like you feel like this person is being led astray from where they're supposed to be. And I definitely feel like there was something here where either this person ran away, either this person did something, because the tower here is pretty gnarly. Let me ask, what caused this tower moment for Taurus? What, what actually caused this tower moment? The Seven of Cups. Options, right? Possibly a Scorpio. Uh, Venus in Scorpio. Well, Venus is in Scorpio right now, so you recently could have found something out that this person has options or... They're not sure what direction they want to go. How does Taurus feel about this tower moment? Hold on, let me just double check. Four of Cups. I feel like with this person, it's like you have these really big blowouts with them because it's like you intuitively know what's going on. But then it's like this person has the ability to kind of talk, the, like, talk their way through it, I feel like. And I feel like when certain things are communicated here with your situation, it's like things change. Because I feel like this person comes in and they say to you probably like, hey, I want to make things right. But now it's like you're already on the defensive because this person has already lied to you or you feel like there's something wrong here. I also feel like with Mars and Leo, there's a lot of pent up, I feel like, sexual energy between you and them. Because Mars and Leo is one of the most sexual signs, I feel like, or sexual placements of Mars. And um, it's a very sexual energy. So for you, it's almost like they come, they see you, and then you don't hear from them, right? Somebody's blocked, somebody's being quiet, and then it's like you and this person continue to go through the same circle. It's like a circle jerk. What do you want me to tell them? Possibly with a Taurus, a uh, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius, or even a Capricorn here. You also received some type of information from somebody, I feel like. Yeah. Okay. So when, the Nine of Cups. All right. Hold on. Nine of Cups. Eight of Cups. Four of Cups. 
I feel like the moment you get in a really good place with this person, it's like you feel good. Like you feel like things are moving or progressing in the right manner. It's like all of a sudden, like they walk away, right? Or there's just illusions. Like I feel like there's a, like there's a lot of confusion here. And then it's like they leave, right? They leave it behind or maybe you're leaving behind what makes you happy and you're going towards something that it's, it's like now you're in a place where you're upset or it's like you want something, but you're not receiving what you want because there's some type of ending here. And I just feel like right now, it's like you're very tired. Like you're tired of always being the one to put forth the effort. You're tired of always being the one to, you know, try to make this person understand. And I also feel like you're tired of this person lying to you. It's like finally you have your guards up when it comes to this person until they're ready to be honest. And what about Taurus's, what about this newer energy? How does Taurus uh, feel about the romantic situation currently with this new person? The Fool, beautiful. The Six of Swords. The Four of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles, beautiful. Aquarius energy, you also have Pisces energy. Um, Capricorn energy is also coming in very heavy here. I think that this is somebody brand new that you're talking to. And I definitely feel like you're in the talking phase for a lot of you guys. I don't even think that you've been physical with this person. Because if you take a look here, there's no wands, right? So there's kind of like a level of imbalance. I also feel like you're willing to take the next step. You're willing to like go out there and see what else is out there and have a fresh start. But I also feel like too, it's like, when this person talks to you, it sounds great, right? But I also feel like you know that they're leaving certain parts out. It's like, I'm going to tell you what I need to tell you, but not everything, right? And it, it, it's like partial truths. So I feel like for you, it's like you're still holding on also to whatever happened in the past with, with your past person possibly not being honest. And it's... It's, it's like, I, I don't know why, but I feel like certain things that they're doing are kind of reminding you of a past situation or a past relationship. And you also may feel like you or this person are just kind of holding on. Like, I don't know why, but, but for whatever reason, you do want to, you do want to make this work. But I think that in order to make this work, either they have to let go of their past or you have to let go of your past. Three more cards, please, for how Taurus views this current situation with them. Okay, King of Cups. Justice. Oh, shit. There you are. Okay. And just so you guys know, the Queen of Pentacles fell out. So let's put her there, too. You guys could possibly also be dealing with a Scorpio or a Libra. And you also have Taurus energy as well. I think that this person is fulfilling you also um, emotionally. It's interesting. We're up here. We didn't have any cups unless it was confusion or, you know, illusions or whatever, right? I think that you feel like this is a situation that may balance the scales that you could marry this person. And I feel like they have the same traditions as you do. They feel the same things that you do. It's like you and this person are both viewing things from the same coin, right? From the same point of view which is important, right? Because perspective is everything. For some of you guys, that person may be married and they need to let go of it and they're in the process of it. But for a lot of you guys, I think that, that you feel like it's a very stable uh, situation and a stable relationship. All right. How does this top energy, how do they feel romantically about Taurus? How does this top energy feel romantically? Okay. Okay. Queen of Cups, I could totally see that. King of Wands, Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Honestly, like, I just feel like this person up here gets wrapped up in their own way. Like, I feel like this person just gets in their own way because they genuinely do love you, right? They view you as somebody that's very loving, caring, nurturing. You may even have kids with this person. Um they view you also as very stable and loving and intuitive. Like, I feel like they're amazed by your intuition, by your loyalty. They're very attracted to you. 
I definitely feel like there's 100% a soul connection here where this person has fell in love with you. And I definitely feel like this person wants to make things work because they don't want to let go of you, right? It's like they're very possessive, Taurus, when it comes to you. And when they grab a hold, it's like, I'm not letting go of this. I also feel like there's something here where they feel like they also owe you some type of confession. I'm getting that as well. And it's like also too, like, like they know that you would be the person that they would marry or the person that they would want a level of longevity with. And I also feel like with Saturn here, right? Pentacles, these are all pentacles. So that's kind of interesting. They view you as long-term, right? They, they view you as somebody that works hard, right? Saturn, you, you, you work, there's a lot of Saturn energy. You work hard and it's like whatever you're doing and you may even be quiet right now because you're just buckling down, but whatever you're doing is paying off for you. They know that, that being with you, they could have everything. So what's their problem? Honestly, it could be the distance, it could be their job, and it could just be the simple fact that they're stuck in their way and they need to change. There's something here where I feel like destiny is kicking, kicking in and it's starting to change the wheel. What about this newer energy? How do they feel romantically towards Taurus? How do they feel romantically towards Taurus? Okay. Five of Wands. Four of Swords. Seven of Swords. And the Eight of Swords. Listen, I'm going to keep it real. There's too many swords here. It's, it's, it's like Five of Wands. There's a lot. I mean, first of all, the Saturn and, and Leo is an interesting um, placement, right? Because it's constant battles over who's in control and who's not. I also feel like somebody, like, they may view you as not being as talkative right now because maybe you're dealing with more than one person. Um, and I feel like they want that to end. I also feel like, too, you're being very quiet right now, right? So they view you as really, like, sitting here contemplating what exactly you want, right? What do you want out of life? You you have double Jupiter energy here and you also have Jupiter up here. So it's like you're deciding where you want to expand that. The problem is the silence or you taking some time to really focus on yourself here, I feel like it's bothering them because they don't know what direction you're going and exactly what you want. But either way, it's, it's, it's like they view you as somebody that's very peaceful, but very quiet. And, and they also feel like you're not being honest here. Aquarius, moon and Aquarius, like there's something here where some something here is not like the others. Like they also feel like you have a lot of hidden secrets that you're not exposing and that you're all in your head with what exactly you want. Why do they feel like Taurus is not talking? Why do they feel Taurus isn't talking? There you are, the King of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Three of Cups. I feel like you're just dating this person or you're just getting to know this person. Like, I don't feel like it's anything necessarily serious yet, but they may feel like because you're already in a committed relationship with an Aries, Taurus, you have the fire signs here and you have uh, Mercury and Cancer. They view you as wanting to go much slower, I feel like, than what they want to go. Because you also have the page of wands here, right? They view you as somebody that's just curious. It's like you're curious what's out there. You're curious about dating. And maybe you said to this person, like, hey, I just want to be friends right now till I can figure out exactly what I want. And I think right now it's like you view yourself maybe as single, even though you're talking to this person. And I don't know. I, I think that this person is struggling to really understand who you are. Like, I feel like they don't have a level of clarity on everything that you have. Like, I think that they see all this potential in you, but then the lack of communication, it's confusing. Maybe intuitively they're like, yo, I know Taurus likes me, but based on what's happening, I can't tell either way.
Okay, let's also see what's going on. What's currently blocking this top energy with Taurus, this, this top romantic connection with Taurus? What's currently blocking it? Okay. A lack of communication. The one thing I've realized is like men, men will literally, sorry about that uh, blackout really quick. Um, men will literally not say a word to you, but then be thinking about you constantly. I've realized that. And that always confused me because why are you not communicating? That doesn't make any damn sense, right? It's like, if you have something to say, then say it. Page of Wands, Five of Wands, Knight of Swords. Possibly a Gemini or Taurus, you may be blocking this connection. It also can be a Leo or a uh, Libra. I feel like there's a lack of communication. And I also feel like right now, it may be the fact that somebody's not ready to completely settle down, right? Also, I feel like there's more than one person at play here. I think things are not being expressed. I also think that there's a lot of like unnecessary drama. And I feel like when somebody doesn't say something here, somebody pops off, right? And it's like somebody is cool until they're not cool, right? Four of swords, I'm chilling. Knight of swords, I'm going to cut your throat, right? I'm pissed. Hi, how are you? I'm here and I'm angry. So I feel like there's just a lot of things that are not being said that need to be communicated and I also feel like you and this person need to physically see each other. Also, too, guys, like, there, there's two potentials here, right? That's Mars and Aries, mm -hmm, Saturn, and the Ten of Swords, right? Somebody needs to pick a direction. Either they're going to stay or they're going to leave, right? Either they're going to come towards you or they're not right? There's some type of big lesson here with somebody physically moving on and leaving whatever their past was behind. I also feel like this is a physical move too. So they may be even, even at a distance from you, but I also feel like there's a lot that is like in your head and their head. And I think that it's an end of some type of difficult situation. You have two tens here. So it's like, getting over the hurt, moving past whatever has physically happened where maybe somebody had more than one partner. And it's almost like leaving like the childish behavior behind, like almost like I'm tired of the night energy. Where's my king? It, for me, it's like that kind of energy. Ooh. All right. What about with this newer person? What is the current block with this newer energy in Taurus romantically? Okay. Queen of Cups reverse. Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So I feel like it's you. I'm going to be honest. I feel like I'm a tourist. Don't be mad at me because you know I love you guys. But I feel like right now you're just shut down emotionally. Like I almost feel like you guys that are currently dating, it's like you feel numb. It's like I have nothing else. Like, like. Somebody's hurt you in the past where it's like you're just very focused on making money. You're focused on getting yourself back to where you need to be. And I also feel like, too, you're trying to figure out whether or not things are going to work with this person or if there's someone else that's better for you. I also feel like it's possibly a Capricorn you're holding on to or a Cancer or a Gemini where they may have that in their chart heavy. Nonetheless, I feel like it's somebody's holding on to the past. It's like somebody's not willing to let go like there it's almost like you or them view something as a possession but i feel like it's you taurus or because it, it's the king of pentacles you also could be like an aries taurus cusp possibly but it's like you're very stuck in your ways and unless this person is able to put the work in and not wait for you to do the work, I feel like that's also the problem. It's like this person wants you to do the work while they just sit back. What is this person's intentions with Taurus romantically? What is this person's intentions with Taurus romantically? This top energy? 
Okay, again, this damn Seven of Cups. I'm gonna be honest, I hate the Seven of Cups. Beautiful, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like this person kind of lives like in a fantasy land, right? It's like, they want things to work, but they don't know if they're gonna work. And also too, it's like they wanna keep an option open for whatever is best for them. It's like they want to have the ability to move the way that they want to move, but still having you in a position where you are committed to them. But I feel like they also want to come in and come out. And I feel like they know that they want to have a conversation with you, but and they want to move forward, but they still don't want to like talk about what really happened. Can you give me three more cards, please, for what their intentions are with Taurus? Three more cards, please. Judgment, Seven of Pentacles, okay. Wow, beautiful Taurus. Okay, that makes me happy. Let's take it a step back. I feel like this person has a lot of options and a lot of thinking to do, and I feel like they're totally in their head, okay? I feel like they know that they need to have a certain conversation with you that's bringing everything to light, right? Judgment. It's expressing how they feel. It's, it's like this person needed time to really understand exactly what they wanted. And I definitely feel like there's some type of awakening here with this person where at first, I don't feel like this person wanted necessarily a relationship. It was whatever was best for them. But now I feel like they're seeing you in a light of more so of a commitment and like it's owed to you. It's like they have um, a sense of duty to explain things to you. And I feel like they want to have a conversation where they're very honest about what exactly they want from you because I feel like you and this, you've taught this person a very strong lesson, okay? Saturn. And I feel like they definitely had like an aha moment or like some type of, of awakening where they're just like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this to them? Like, why? Okay, in the comment, I want you guys to put um, judgment. That is your guys' word. Judgment, or put judgment is here. That's what I want you guys to write. Judgment is here. Put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments, you can win a uh, free reading. Make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel. And then I pick a winner um, like in a week and I use it by like a comment generator. So um, if you want to enter, you always can. But I feel like they're having judgment on your stability. And I definitely feel like they want marriage with you. They want to move forward with you. They want to move in with you. They're having a level of clarity with you where they know that, I honestly, I'm going to keep it real. I feel like they're obsessed. I feel like this person is genuinely obsessed with you. They view you as property. They view you as theirs. I know someone in the comment is going to be like, I'm nobody's property. Woo. Yeah, I understand that. However... I feel like with men, when a man, when a man sees something, it's theirs. You know what I mean? And I feel like Taurus, you get that too, right? What's mine is mine. Don't touch what's mine. So I feel like this person wants to make sure that they lock things down because they don't want you getting away. What about this newer energy? What is their intentions with Taurus romantically? This newer energy coming in. Five of cups. Six of cups. Five of Pentacles. Can I be honest? This person down here is hella depressing. Nine of Swords. Look, it's way too much. You have Mars energy here. This, this person is like a woe is me. Can I keep it real? It's like they're upset because they have a lot of regrets and maybe they should have done something different. But it's almost like, I don't know why, but it's like this person is still upset over a past situation or somebody that has that they have kids with. And I feel like there's a lack of communication, so they're not feeling anything. And I, and I feel like there's too much anxiety with this person. I definitely feel like they want to walk away from that depressing stuff, but can I be honest, like, what you see with this person, whatever you're picking up on intuitively, because Taurus, I know you're picking up something weird with them, right? It's like they're hot and cold constantly. 
I think they're just stuck on something from the past. And it's like they want to move away from the past because they know that they want more with you. Because I feel like they do want to be intimate with you. They do want stability. You know, they do want some type of excitement. They would want to move very quickly with you and expand with you because they feel like you're the best choice, that you and them could be a perfect balance. And with Jupiter here, right, Jupiter expands everything. So they feel like they could have everything with you and that they'd also have a lot of financial stability and financial gain, but they're too busy in their head. Honestly, they're creating their own self-fulfilling prophecies. All right, let's find out your final outcome. And you guys should be good to go, hopefully. Oh shit, did I put those cards wrong? Hold my beer. I think I did. Nope, I didn't. Okay, cool. What's the best potential outcome for Taurus and this um, this top energy? For Taurus and this top energy romantically. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Wow. And then the Pinche Tower. Come on. I hate that card. Actually, I'm going to lie. I lie. I like the Tower because Tower is creating a lot of change. And for me, I look at Tower as shock, right? Because like something could, could go horribly and then all of a sudden somebody proposes to you and you're like, where the hell did that come from, right? Everything you were thinking is completely floored. And I feel like that's what's happening here. I'm not taking the Tower as a negative thing. I feel like this person takes an action towards you that you're not expecting. And I think it's like they're finally releasing whatever's held them back. And there's something here where it's a brand new start. And it's like leveling the ground where it's just you and them. I also feel like you're going to be very focused on your money and very focused on your body and your health. But I also think too, you guys are going to be working together. It's, it's like this person is now putting in the work with your connection Two of Cups and Soul Connection, that's definitely a twin flame, right? Your souls are merged. Like there's some type of soul contract here, I feel like, for those of you guys that are watching, where it's like no matter how far you run, you always come back to this person. And there's some type of magnetic pull between you that's unexplainable. And it's because you both genuinely love each other. You guys communicate telepathically. If you're upset, they know about it. If they're upset, you know about it. If they're doing some foul shit, right? If they're, you know, dealing with somebody else, you know, you immediately feel that energy. And it's because you guys are connected. There's some type of destiny that you guys are supposed to go into together. What's causing this tower? The Nine of Swords, okay, hold on. That's you guys overthinking in your head. And what is the outcome of this tower for Taurus? King of Wands. This person has had enough time to think about exactly what they want, right? And beforehand, I feel like this person never took any action because they were Mars and Gemini, right? Mars and Gemini just thinks. As far as action is concerned, I don't feel like Mars and Gemini takes a lot of action because they're constantly in their head trying to understand, right? But now it's like this person is going from not making any action to finally saying, okay, let's do this. Like, show me a Leo. If a Leo wants you, you're going to know, period. Like, they're going to put forth the effort and, and, and all that jazz. And I feel like this person is very focused on you and what you're doing. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to fight for you. I feel like they've had a level of clarity on what they need to leave behind in their life. And I think that there was some type of heartbreak that they, there's something here. I don't know if you left them and all of a sudden they've had this time to think, but it's great energy. All right. Oh, shit. I was supposed to go week by week. Okay. First week, I think you're focused on yourself. Second week, I feel like there's some type of reconciliation. Third week, I definitely feel like you and this person connect on a different level. I feel like there's going to be something unexpected that happens between you and them. All right, what about this newer energy down here? What about this newer energy down here? Okay, seven of cups reversed. It's the best potential outcome between this newer energy and Taurus romantically. 
Okay, Five of Swords. King of Cups. King of Swords. I feel like the first week of you guys dealing with each other, it's like there's the confusion is gone, right? It's I think that you realize like, yeah, I don't really like this person. And the second week, I feel like you realize that there's some type of conflict here, right? Who is the conflict with? Again, I feel like it's yours because you have some type of decision you need to make, Venus in Aquarius. I don't know if this person is pushing you um, sexually, but also too, it's like there's a lack of intimacy. And I just feel like there's things that are not being said or there's conflict or there's a level of deception on somebody making some type of choice. The third week, it's like this person tries to come back and I feel like they try to like smooth things over with you. And I feel like it's like they're trying to be very compassionate. It's like all of a sudden this person is coming in trying to be very loving and, and caring. But the problem is, I don't know why, but I just feel like this person tends to manipulate people emotionally. And I feel like there's a lot of illusions with what they're bringing to you. And I feel like in the fourth week, you see right through it and you cut it. Like King of Swords, like you're very honest. Like, yeah, I don't like you. Yeah. Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, right? I'm not going to, Mercury and Taurus, you're not talking to them because you're going back to something from the past. That's what I'm getting. And you're putting a level of distance in between you and them for a reason. And I feel like they see that and I feel like they notice that. And I definitely feel like it's hurting them that you're leaving. But now they have a level of clarity with why you're, you're putting up these guards, right? And now they're understanding why you're not talking to them. The reality is, I mean, I feel like nowadays, is anyone truly single? Someone's either in a relationship, an unhappy relationship, or they're not over their ex yet. It, it, it's like to meet somebody that's truly single is, is like, I mean, I feel like it's very rare, um, especially nowadays. So I don't know. I, I think that this person was there to buy time and allow this person to see you with somebody else or taking action with somebody else to trigger them to do better. So Taurus, that's your reading. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later.